Hello everyone, and this is Mohamed Dagani, and I want to talk about how we can integrate Simio into MATLAB together to perform intelligent simulation models. As you know, simulation software packages provide an abstraction of the real world with the most common functional needs for the modeling. However, there are some activities in real-world systems which simulation software packages are not able to address properly. These activities are primarily human decision-making analysis or highly computational support tools, which are developed to improve the functionality of business organization processes. So in these series of videos, I will talk about two different methods that you can link these two software packages. In part one, I will talk about how we can call MATLAB from Simio. So basically, Simio will be the main manager and MATLAB will be called based on different trigger events inside the simulation model. For the second part, MATLAB can call Simio to run experiments from a simulation software. This video is focused on the first part, which is calling MATLAB from Simio. However, if you are interested to integrate these two packages the other way around, please watch the video for part 2, which its link is provided in comments below. So, let's get started. Calling MATLAB from Simio. As I mentioned earlier, in part 1, the main manager is the simulation software, which is Simio. Simio is a powerful software package that you can easily handle almost any kind of action or logic inside your simulation model. However, there are some decision-making type of analysis with heavy computational calculations that are beyond the reach of any simulation package. So therefore, it is very desirable to have kind of external software that can easily handle those types of calculations for us and provides the answer for simulation software instantly. To address this issue, we developed a framework which is an integration of Simio as the simulation software and MATLAB is the computational software package. So, as you can see here, I have a simulation model which has started its run. At some point in the middle of the simulation run, we may need to do the calculation. This calculation could be solving an optimization problem, running a decision-making analysis, you name it. So, as you can see, what happens here is Simio has to be paused momentarily, and MATLAB needs to be called to deploy the computational calculation in order to provide a solution. Once the solution is achieved from MATLAB, Simio configuration is updated. Then, Simio continues its run until the next trigger event. So basically, in this framework, MATLAB could be called multiple times during a single simulation run upon occurrence of any trigger event. Trigger event is defined by the user and could be any major change in the simulation model. So, this type of model, in the literature, it is called Iterative Optimization-Based Simulation, or IOS. And I have an example for you here for a manufacturing system in the next slide. Consider a manufacturing system with 40 jobs, with 4 available machines like this. So, we start the model and we distribute the jobs among the machines. At some point, one of the machines may fail, like machine 3, the red on, as you can see here. So, what we need to do is to redistribute all of remaining jobs among all available machines, which are basically machine 1, 2, and 4. At this, a scheduling problem has to be solved to redistribute the existing 25 jobs on three available machines. To do so, as is shown here. Simio is paused, not stopped, and MATLAB is triggered to run the optimization algorithm to obtain an optimal scheduling based on the current status of the simulation model. Once the problem is solved, Simio's configuration is updated, and now all of the jobs are distributed among these three machines based on the new scheduling solution. The same procedure repeats when another machine, like machine 2, fails. So, this type of event will be created multiple times during a simulation run, depending on the defined trigger in your simulation model. The applications of this integration could be for implementing intelligent simulation models as I showed you right now. You can use it to have an iterative optimization-based simulation, which is called IOS. The good thing about this is you can implement and deploy multiple solvers inside MATLAB to see which one performs better. It could be commercial software package like CPLEX, Lingo, or GAMS, or you can have your own algorithm to optimize the model, like meta heuristics such as genetic algorithm or taboo search. So depending on the type of problem you are solving, you could use different types of software packages to optimize it. So, this is the beauty of the model, that you can, that you have freedom of choice in terms of picking the optimization software. I have a paper that is recently published in Simulation Modeling Practice and Theory, so if you want to learn more about us, you can read this paper entitled Intelligent Simulation, 
Integration of Simio and MATLAB to deploy decision support systems to simulation environment. I highly recommend that you read this paper if you're interested to know how to implement this framework and learn about other applications. So, the second application could be running MCDM models. For example, consider a supply chain model when the selected supplier needs to update it multiple times within the simulation run. This could happen by linking Simio and MATLAB in where Simio mimics the supply chain, and MATLAB deploy the decision-making procedure by using an MCDM method such as AHP or TOPSYS to pick the new supplier or set of suppliers. Embedding machine learning methods into the simulation environment would be another promising application of this framework. You could use either neutral network or reinforcement learning during the simulation model. You could have any type of sophisticated calculations inside MATLAB that could help the simulation run. I just listed a few of these applications, but feel free to share your ideas with me regarding this integration in the comments for this video. Now, I want to talk about how we can implement this. Implementation is really easy and straightforward. You just need to download the callmatlab.dll file. It's coded in C and it is available to you. So you can simply download it and copy that to the Simio directory. Once you copy this, you're going to see new step instance added to your MATLAB. Follow me to show you how you can get it downloaded and added to Simio. If you go to the link they provided for you in the first comment, you can see that there are two different parts for this link. I am talking about the first part, part 1.zip. So download the file and unzip all the files inside the zip file. So once you unzip it, you are going to see five different files in there. First one, which is the main one, is called callmatlab.dll. Also included is the paper that I just mentioned. Also, I have the MATLAB file which plays a sound for us. This is just for demonstration. It is very simple, I know, but I just want to show you how to call MATLAB. So, whenever you run this, you are going to hear this ship sound. Okay, good. But as I said, inside your MATLAB, you can have any type of algorithm that you desire. The last file is a Simio file called test, which I use it to show you how to implement this integration. First of all, you have to copy callmatlab.dll to Simio directory. Let's navigate through Simio directory. Go to C, Program Files, then Simio, and finally click on User Extensions folder and then paste callmatlab.dll file in here. That's it. Make sure that Simio is closed when you are copying. So, once this file is added to the user extensions folder of Simio, you can open Simio and see that a new step instance is added to the software. Please open the test file. And as you can see, in this simulation model, I have one server and one sync. So it is very simple, but I just want to show you how we can call MATLAB in this model. In here, I just created three entities and they arrive in the system. And once they reach this node called input at sync one node, I need MATLAB to be triggered. So I create a process called input underscore sync one underscore entered because I want to call MATLAB whenever an entity enters here, and therefore play the ship sound from MATLAB. I go ahead and click on it. You can see that I have a very simple process, which would have just a single step, which is labeled call MATLAB. How can I get this step? So, if you go to user defined, you can see a new step is added to Simio as call MATLAB. You will get this one once you copy the file to the Simio directory. In order to use this step, you have to provide two inputs. First thing is the name of the MATLAB function. So if I go back, you can see the name of my MATLAB function is called play. That's it. So I put the name of the function for the first input. The second input is the address or the directory that your MATLAB file is located in. In this case, it's drive C and folder tests. 
I put the function name as play and for the address C tests. Now I'm all set. I can just easily run my simulation model to see what happens. So just let me increase the speed and just put the speed at 5. So let's run. The first entity arrives at the system. Once it reaches that point, you can see that MATLAB is triggered now and activated. And there you go, we hear the sound. So I am waiting for the second entity, which arrived right now. I have to hear the sound one more time. That's great, and this is the last one. Perfect. So, as you can see here, remember that I triggered that process. That process goes through the call MATLAB and call MATLAB is going to pick the MATLAB file, which I entered into here, which is called play. And in this directory, I am going to run the MATLAB function for us. So that is a short video to show you what are the applications of this integration and how you can implement this. Hopefully you enjoyed it and could use it for your future research works and future simulation modeling. Let me go back to my slides. That was it. I know it was really simple and easy to use, and if you have any questions, you can contact me at simeomatlab at gmail.com. Also, if you're interested to know how to call Simeo from MATLAB, which is the other way to integrate these two software packages, you can watch the second video, which is part two. Thank you so much. Bye.